I, I, I asked Cheryl this. How, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with So the questions are coming at you thick and fast. Where have you got that information stored? How do you recall it so quickly? I, I, here's what I've learned about my brain is it's, and I think most people's brains are the same. It's like having a personal assistant who's not very logical. So if you ask them where you put your pen, they'll go, it's near the banana that I had the other day. And so they go looking for the banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if, they're, if you're having a good day, they'll bring back the pen. They'll get to the banana and remember, oh, I'm here for the pen. But if you're having a bad day, they come back with the banana. And you, now sometimes you get an answer in your head that you're like, why have you brought me back the banana? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. Pen? I asked for the pen. It's like, okay. it's like inside your brain you have... A work experience kid who's good some days and not so good the other okay, days. Okay, so everyone on the panel is thinking, I've got no idea what he's talking about. But yeah. it sounded good, didn't it? Adam, does it sound good? <laughs> well, I'm, sorry. I'm so confused. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm so confused right I was, now. I was, I, was trying to, I, was, I, was right, okay. I was watching his eyes glaze over, but then my <laughs> eyes started to glaze over and I couldn't even see his glaze over. I started over. thinking, am I the work experience kid? <laughs> yeah. No, you're the monkey. You're the monkey. Like, now you know how it feels when I'm doing the chase. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, it is time to catch up with Paul Dowsley, who's in the phone room at the MCEC for another big donation. Great day at the phone room, Paul. Hey, Larry. I want you all to think about where you were at 2 o'clock because at the Redstone Estate at Sunbury today, lives were being changed. Another house, thanks to Henley and Villawood, was being auctioned. I have Nadia here from Henley. Nice to see you, Nadia. Hello, Look at that big smile. We know why you got a big smile. It was an incredible day out there and it's been a long association with Henley. That's right. It's been 30 years that Henley's been supporting the Good Friday Appeal and the Royal Children's Hospital and so we're absolutely thrilled to celebrate that today. And sum up how it has been for your business giving away all these houses. It's not just 30 houses, is it? No, it's 43 houses over our journey and with today's contribution that's over $18 million that we've been able to facilitate and donate. So it's just amazing. Fantastic. How was the vibe out there today? Pretty electric. It was very exciting and um, yeah, we just, all the trades and suppliers, it was great to see them all out there and really, um, yeah, just enjoying the day. Fantastic. And I have also Andrew here from Villawood. Take us through this house. It's a magnificent four bedroom house. Sell it to me. Well, you can't, you can't sell it to me. It's sold. <laughs> Sorry, <But> tell, it's sold. <laughs> tell me how wonderful this place is. No, it's a 34 square home right opposite a park. So in a great location um, and an exclusive access to our residence club as well. So Sunbury is coming alive and our Redstone Project's the place to be. So and it's very fully exciting. furnished too. It is fully furnished. Um, it's got everything from a fridge, barbecue, alfresco, outdoor soccer goals, you name it, ready to move in. And there's something pretty special tucked away on a wall in the, um, in the garage too, right? There's a battery, I believe. <laughs> yes, which comes in off, brings the electricity in. You don't have to worry about any of that. What a great, what a great house. And it now belongs to a family who were the, the bidder, yeah? This is a, a couple. That's right, a young couple, just um, married about a year ago, so really looking forward to starting their family there and enjoying their life in Sunbury. And we've got to thank also the tradies, all the tradies who got involved. There's so many people and businesses donating time and um, everything to build the house, basically, and to get us this amount, Nadia. Take us to it. Well, we're so excited to be able to reveal tonight that we raised today $1,082,000 at our auction. How about that? Fantastic and incredible amount. It must stun you to be holding up a cheque for a million and eighty-two thousand dollars, guys. It's absolutely blown us away. We're so excited. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Fantastic. And what a beautiful house. Now, I know my colleague from the newsroom, Blake Johnson, was out there uh, today. So rest assured to the winning bidders, because uh, Blake was there, uh, the house will be fully deep cleaned before they take ownership. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul, that is amazing. That is the first time a house has reached a million plus. Uh, so what a significant, significant result. Paul, congratulations to you and thank you very much for that. Uh, now, Adam, we just need to bring you in as our DIY expert. Yes. Just explain uh, in real terms uh, what Paul was talking about when he said, and the electricity comes in and, goes, and there's a battery and there's electricity and then the lights and then the lights and then the battery. That's right. What, what, what was he talking about? So what he was talking there is solar panels on the house. Oh, he, why didn't he just say solar that's panels? That's right. And in Instead of the, the power going back to the grid, there's a battery where you can store all the power that you get from, from your roof. Can you so, just text him and just... I, I'll, I'll, I'll get, yeah, I'll reach out to Paul. Instead of the, the, the battery, the electric, and, then, and, then and then you've the, got a battery. And then the egg, and then the egg breaks, and then power comes out of that. It's amazing. <laughs>